You've made it to part six and you are powering along this ARCAD journey. Today, we're talking about objects and focusing on the wet areas of the homes. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And this is the completely free ARCAD course available to all of you right here on YouTube. If you missed any of the videos so far, go back to part one, catch up to where we are today because today is a very important lesson that you do not want to miss. So today in part six, we're going to be focusing on objects and wet areas. By wet areas, what I mean is the kitchen, laundry, the bathroom, and spaces where typically water is running. Primarily, we're going to focus on the bathroom and the laundry today to really pinpoint exactly how you can utilize Archicad's objects and object library. I'm going to dive into a very specific kitchen tutorial in the next video so today we're just focusing on these two little spaces to start off with we want to go into the left hand panel here and select this chair object that is our object tool if we open it up by selecting the top or command t you're going to see all of your actual objects come up now same as the doors and windows you can go back to the little chair you can go to your favorites or you can search for it by simply typing what you want so for the purpose of today, we're gonna to go across, type in toilet and see what comes up. Now, what you'll see is I have toilet 4D available to me. You will not. This is part of the 4D library and I prefer it personally. It is a paid accessory, but not everybody is going to have this. So we're gonna to stick to the actual objects found in ARCAD by default. WC26 is the default toilet and there is so many options to go through. It is fantastic. Just like doors and windows and everything along the works, you have all of your three little key icons here. The image completely rendered out in 3D and we can go through and change pretty much whatever we want. How do we want this toilet to look wall hung? How do we want the system to be in wall? What do we want our button to look like? We can go through a number of different scenarios with the toilet. Now, this stuff is relatively boring, so I will not go through it in immense detail because there's no point. Most of the settings are exactly the same as the doors and windows and walls that we've talked about so far. They're just different categories specific to the object. Every single object you click on is going to have a different format of settings in it, but it's all gonna be relatively consistent and you're gonna be able to work your way through it quite easily. Two things to pay attention to is show in 3D is if you want the system to be shown and the actual object layer it's on. So for example, it is on the wrong layer for me personally. You want MEP plumbing, you want to press OK. And then when you click, it's going to tell you that this layer is hidden and what do you want to do with it? So personally, I just want to show it and see that toilet. Now for me, when I'm designing wet areas or anything really, I like to get all of the objects out and ready to go. So if we move our toilet across to the side, Command D, hit that option button, holding Shift to make sure it's straight. Command T opens up our settings. I can start utilizing the next object I need in that wet area. So let's type in shower and see what we get. Again, freeform multi shower 4D are basic 4D library objects, which we're not going to be using, which can be used as standard shower cabin from Archicad. I'm not going to go in and change too many objects. I'm just going to create it for now and continue on. The last thing that I want inside this small little bathroom is a vanity basin. Now, Archicad has a series of different styles, types, basins, cabinets, and the works. The Archicad 26 upgrade got a quite a decent upgrade for the cabinetry. So if you want to just simply use the cabinet, you're most welcome to. It is a great little object. So pressing OK, you'll see that we have three objects created here. We have our toilet, a shower, and our hand basin. In a small space like this, if I press the M for measure, you'll see that it's 2.4 by 2.4 roughly internally. Now that isn't a huge space, but it does give us plenty of space to do something with. So let's select our vanity basin object, press command E for elephant, which will open up our rotate tool. Click in the center, hold shift, let go of shift, go all the way up to 90 degrees whilst holding shift to snap and finish clicking. We're just simply going to rotate our vanity basin across. Now, if I press Command D to help me move that vanity across, I can move my vanity directly in front of my door so that when I walk into my bathroom, I'm not seeing a toilet, I'm not seeing a shower. I'm directly engaging with what I need the most. Now, we're going to select our shower, Command E, repeat that same step, Command D to move it along. 
place it next to that vanity basin. Simply measure from there to our wall and we'll see it's 900 wide. Personally, I'd like a meter. So I'm gonna press Command D, move this up 100 mil, select on my vanity basin, increase that from 900 to a meter, and then reposition it perfectly across. Now you might be thinking, what the hell am I doing? What's the plan here? Well, actually what I really wanna do is decrease the size of this laundry increase the size of this bathroom and get a little separate toilet going because I don't personally like to have a toilet free and open. So what I'm gonna do is select this wall, drag it down, place it hard up against our shower and then go Command D, press the option button to duplicate that and simply type in 1200. Now you'll see I've created a new wall and a new room to allocate space for this toilet. The fill is now no longer appropriate and no longer accurate, so I'm gonna select my laundry and my bathroom and just press delete. I'm also gonna move my title of laundry up a little bit and I'm gonna select my door, Command D, move that up a little bit as well. Now to make sure I have enough room in my laundry, I particularly want about 1600. So looking up, I have 1670. I'm happy with that amount of space in my laundry. I can select these two walls, Command I, like we've learned before, Select my toilet, Command E, rotate, select, Command D, move it into place. Now, obviously we're gonna need another door. So option, drag, drop, select that door and drop it in. If you haven't noticed, we're progressing a lot more in this tutorial. We're getting quicker, we're getting faster. We're able to do things a lot easier. So hence why I'm not slowing it down. I'm not babying it for you guys anymore. You've learned a few skills, you've learned a few features and we know what to do as I'm doing this live in front of you. Now, if we go to our 3D view, click our little man down the bottom, we can explore our video by playing it like a video game. So let's continue to fly through our internal space. Let's go into our bathroom. We'll see that our site is clashing with our floor. So Command L to open up our layers. Type in site. I'm simply just gonna hide the site itself so we can see our floor very, very well. You'll see that the cabinetry is in, the window is clashing with our wall and with our shower, and our toilet is also clashing with our window. So what we wanna do is now we wanna come back to our ground floor plan. We wanna readjust our window. So we wanna align it to that space. I personally would also like to increase the size of this shower. Let's go from 800 to 1500 and then move this door across. So now it's a nice large shower that you can actually access from the side, but there's still a few little details missing. So first of all, let's just duplicate the shower, Command T to change it, and let's type in towel, because we're missing our towel rail. So by default, you'll have a towel rail style in ArchiCAD that you can select from. Single bar for the purpose of this is perfectly fine. Again, I hate those colors. I really don't like them personally. So I'm just gonna change that to a black, press OK, rotate it around and drop my towel rail in on the side next to this hand basin. Now it's up to you guys where you want the towel rail. It could go next to the hand basin or you could rotate it once again, put it next to the toilet door so it's directly in front of your actual shower. Just depends where you want it. Just like the handrail, you also need a toilet roll holder. So if you type in toilet, you'll get toilet paper dispenser. You can simply go wall mounted and rotate that in, drag, drop it next to your toilet. Coming back to our 3D images, you'll see that our window is still a little bit too low. So let's increase that window seal height from 1800 to 2200, which will now sit clear above our shower and it'll be nice and quiet in this space. You'll see that the, the tower rail is way too low. So let's lift that up to 900 and fly our way into our bathroom. The spaces are coming along very quickly, very easily, and exactly as we want them to look. Now you might be thinking it's very challenging to fly around those spaces and I don't really wanna be flying through walls all the time. If that's what you're thinking, select this marquee tool. And because we just wanna showcase this ground floor, not everything on all floors, Make sure you've got the thin marquee tool, not the thick marquee tool. Then what you wanna do is simply just cut off one wall, two walls, or however many walls you don't wanna see. Right click, show marquee in 3D, and there you go. We'll just show that space that we've marqueed in 3D, cut everything open so we can actually see what's going on. 
this is a great way to quickly see any space deep inside the house and isolate individual elements. For example, this way we can select our cabinetry and go, no, this is hideous. I don't like the tap style. Let's change it to this font. I don't like countertop edge. Let's change it here. I don't like sink. Let's make it a rectangle. I want the tap to be wall mounted. I'd prefer this style over the other one. I want the tap to be brass instead of metal. You have the freedom to quickly change things, go OK, view it in 3D, continue adjusting and changing. So let's say I still don't like any of these elements I can go through. Let's change our door styles. Maybe I want a drawer instead of doors. I can simply click on that. Let's say I want the cabinetry to be black. I want my door handles to be brass to match the tapware. We want our countertone to be white marble. Pressing OK, we see a massive change in our actual architectural style, our visual representation, and we can continue to play with the interior design as we see fit. So obviously, if we come back to our ground floor plan now, that's the bathroom pretty much done. It doesn't take very long to drag and drop objects in to Archicad. But now let's come across to our laundry. Our laundry might need to be a little bit more detailed, a little bit more intricate. So what do we do? Same kind of system. Let's go into our object tool and let's start by typing in laundry to see what objects pop up. Because I have the 4D library, again, there's a few more objects that you won't see for you. For example, I have a full laundry Detailed, documented, away you go. You can simply click OK, drag and drop it into that space in a matter of seconds and adjust it how you see fit. However, you guys won't have this available to you, so we're gonna go through one by one and showcase individual items. Let's pick our washing machine. Let's go a front loader, press OK, drag and drop that washing machine into the corner. Duplicate it across, Command T, let's get our dryer, same sort of deal, open it up. We have our dryer, we have our washing machine. Now let's go into our little chair icon to view everything we have available to us. Scroll down to the kitchen cabinetry and start utilizing some of these elements. Now the kitchen cabinetry is pretty basic. We don't need too much and it really depends what you want your laundry to look like. So for the purpose of this, let's just grab a base block cabinet and I'm happy to have all drawers for the, for the sake of argument. I do want to change this from plumbing to furniture fixed. Press OK, drag that into the correct position. And then what we can do is simply drag, drop, duplicate a number of these items across until we're happy with the size. If you have a little bit of an awkward space left over, you can simply hit one of the hotspots, hold shift, extend it out all the way so that that space is perfect for your requirements. Now, once again, let's grab our marquee tool, right click, show marquee in 3D, and let's have a quick look at our laundry. So the laundry is relatively basic. There's not too much going on. We probably want to put a little bit more effort into this. If we were designing these spaces, rather than just dragging and dropping objects in. But let's say we don't like this cupboard here, Command T, let's grab a standing cupboard. We can adjust that height to whatever we see fit. So let's say we want to drop it to the top of this window and that's where we're going to introduce a bulkhead. Next, we might not like that cupboard. We might want to go through our settings. It might need a sink or a trough and then you can adjust what kind of sink you need. Pressing OK, we now have a sink in our laundry. Most likely that sink would probably be a lot closer to our washing machine. So we'd simply drag that one across there, move our sink into the other position and then increase our cabinetry to match the gap. Coming back into our 2D floor plan, you'll see our laundry is pretty much done. If we wanted to add more, we could right click, rotate, drag and drop a couple of these spaces in here, add some shelving, decrease the depth of that to only 300, and then we could marquee our space once again. And you notice we have some extra wide cupboards here, so instead of just dragging that full width, we'll probably split it in half, duplicate it, and then we have two large cupboards for additional storage as we need and our objects for the wet areas are very much done now because there's no point going into the bedrooms into another tutorial i'm simply going to show you guys now find a bed that you're relatively happy with let's select this bed 26 because it's got the bedside tables and everything change our color change it to furniture loose press ok press ok and then rotate our beds wherever we need them so we can drag and drop them in, see what we're looking at. And our beds are underneath that corner window tucked in to this space over here. We can duplicate once more on the other bedroom wall, rotate it around. Same thing for the games room. 
grab a bed, command T, open it up. Let's type in pool. We've got a pool table available to us. Press OK, drag and drop a pool table into the middle of the room. And maybe we have two pool tables for some strange reason. But just like that, objects are so easy to drag and drop into space. And all you have to do really is search through your available library and find whatever it is you're looking for. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. If you missed any of this ARCAD course series, they are available to the playlist to the side of me. But like always, I'll see you next Monday.